Hello and welcome. This is Teaching Through Repertoire Russian Music Box Cello Edition. I'm going to do a tutorial on all the things that might be new for you as you're practicing this piece, and then I'll do an entire playthrough with the metronome set at 120 beats per minute. If you're ready, get your cello. Here we go. Russian Music Box, measure one. We start pizzicato. That means to pull the string. What I like to do for all this opening is to make sure my hand is framed on first finger B and third finger F sharp. There's no reason to lift your third finger or your first finger. You can keep them down every time that you play it. Now while you're doing this, make sure you're pulling the instrument into you so that you're not pinching with your thumb. We never want to pinch the fingerboard or use strength in our hand. What we want to feel is like we're pulling the string down into the cello. So make sure your first finger B and your F sharp are all set. Now the only other tricky part about this is that you have to make sure to keep track how many times you play it, because it changes. Measure seven, you go to your open strings. And then measure nine, back to F sharp. Now the big change between measure 10 and 11, it's arco, polo. We use our bow. So when you play the F sharp pizzicato, you have two beats to get your bow hand ready. So you have to practice going from pizzicato to arco. Pizzicato to arco. That's a skill. You're going to want to practice that separately from trying to play everything else. Otherwise, this happens. And you make some sort of non-musical sound, more of a percussive sound. Okay, so that's the opening. Measures 1 all the way to 11, B and F sharp, couple of note changes. Measure 11 all the way to 19, B and F sharp with the bow. Measure 19. You're going to see tiny little notes below measure 19. Those are called cues, C-U-E. And they're there just in case your orchestra doesn't have any basses. Now, if they do have basses, don't worry about that bottom part. You just play the cello part, which are the larger notes that have the stems pointing up. Whenever they show cues and sometimes even multiple parts, they'll say, hey, top part, here you are with all your stems up. Hey, bottom part, here you are with all of your stems down. It's one of the times we break the rules for stem direction. So measure 19, this is a bit tricky. You have fourth finger G and first finger B. Whoa, did you notice how my hands didn't move? That's right, because my hand is framed. I have fourth finger G and first finger B ready. I could play both notes at the same time. And what's nice about that is I have my elbow at the correct height, and I have my hand ready. Now I don't have to be in a panic. If I do this, my hands are jumping all around. I might miss the note. I'm going to have some tension. I might have some anxiety. So it's nice to have my hand framed. Then you go from first finger B to C sharp. Here you probably will release the G, although you could play it. Notice my fourth finger G is still down, but this might feel uncomfortable for your hand. It might be a little bit hard to coordinate. So you may lift your pinky up just so you can get to that third finger C sharp. But going back to G from C sharp, you might want to practice doing this. clean transition from your A string to your D string, making sure that your fourth finger G is ready. You have a whole note in measure 26. This is always tricky for younger, uh, less experienced musicians because you have to hold the note and sustain the sound. One, two, three, four. What often happens is the bow is too light, the bow moves too quickly, it's too close to the fingerboard, and you get this sound. Or this sound, because you just don't know how to use the entire bow yet. So here's what I recommend. Let your arm drop into your bow, slow your bow down, move a little bit closer to the bridge, and practice making sustaining sounds. See how long you can hold your bow and make a beautiful sound with a slow, heavy bow. Then when you get to a place like measure 26, you have the technique built into your bow arm, so you can just do this. One, two, three, four without any worry or concern that you'll run out of bow. 27, it's the same music as 19 with the tiniest variation. You'll notice instead of C sharps, it goes to open A. So pay attention to the notes, but all the same skills apply. In measure 33, that is a whole rest, little rectangle hanging from the fourth line that means four beats of silence. And then back to pizzicato at measure 34. This is all the same music as the beginning. And look at that, at 44, it's arco, just like at measure 11. 
Once you get to measure 53, you get a little bit of moment in the sun. This is all about cellos and the basses. So here at 53, you have F sharp. One final little statement. I want to remind you that in measure 54, that note is third finger B on the G string. So make sure that you're on the correct string and that you're using your third finger. Uh, and then you finish with pizzicato. One, two, three, four, one. Final note, also a third finger B. That's it, kids. Let's run through it. I'm going to set the metronome on 120 beats per measure. And then we're going to play straight through. I'll count out loud. And if you're ready, come join me. Here we go. One, two, measure one, pizzicato, and one, two, three, four, one, two, measure three, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, measure seven, one, Eleven with your bow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, fifteen. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nineteen. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seven, ready, go. One, three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. Rest to pizzicato. One, two, three, four. Thirty-six, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Measure forty. with the bow. Two, three, four, one, two. Forty-six, two, three, four, one, two. Forty-eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Fifty-three, ready, go. One, two, three, four, third finger B and pizzicato and we're done. Two, three, four. And that's Russian music box the cello version. When you're practicing, go through the things that are tricky for you. Try and make everything as clean and clear and beautiful as possible. Focus on one measure at a time, or even one or two notes. That's okay. Go slow to learn fast. If you're not ready for a faster tempo, good news is YouTube has playback settings, and you can change them from full speed, to three quarter speed, to half speed, and so on. You do you. You're the one practicing. You are the success. Thanks so much for stopping by, and remember, if you practice every day, by the end of the year, you will be taller. <laughs>